all yes <laughs> you know these families that have been in the United States for the last 150 years maybe 200 years <laughs> They're families we don't often think about, but if they can get a judge in their back pocket, they can influence the the actual decisions of the court. Yes. Now, when you go through all the locations and then all the locations where they serve alcohol, I'm one of these that likes the idea of putting the mob in prison. Boo! Now, you say I wouldn't get them. I don't have any evidence, <laughs> but I find that you used any actual technology or you decided to make some look-alikes that were strippers, pooch them. The bartender that's been serving is not an actual citizen of the United States. <laughs> In fact, get me, uh, get me Bolivia. My uncle was an exchange student to Bolivia back in the 70s from... <laughs> I just wanted to know South America, Argentina, Venezuela, Chile. Get me each and every nation of South America. It seems that somebody's been laundering a large amount of money so as to cause the actual judicial system of the United States to not function the way that it should. Now, when I start looking through every politician of South America, yes, just give me the last 40 years of each and every oath of office, all of those in law enforcement, police officers, how are you today, motherfuckers? <laughs>